This is Lenny Farley, Purdue University Extension Forester. Now let's ID that tree. Today we're going to give you some hints to help you identify American Elm. American Elm, also called White Elm, is a common Indiana tree, although not as common as it used to be. At one point in time, American Elm was one of our most important and beloved street trees in our cities and towns. However, because of the introduction of a disease called Dutch Elm disease that has killed most of those uh, trees in town, we don't see that much as a street tree anymore. It's still a fairly common forest tree, although oftentimes it does not get to be very large, once again because of this disease problem. American elm has alternating simple leaves, meaning the leaves alternate back and forth on the twig in a zigzag pattern. The leaves are simple, meaning that it's just one leaflet with a short stem attached to the stem of the, of the twig. And one other characteristic we can look at is the leaves on American elm have double serrations on the edges, meaning it has a large tooth and then small teeth on top of that large tooth. The twigs are tr quite fine and later in the summer will turn a medium brown and as the buds emerge and harden off will also be about that same brown color. We can also take a look at the bark of American elm and use it for identification purposes. It has spongy bark with strong ridging and sometimes flakiness depending on the size of the tree and where it's located and how fast it's growing. But one of the really great characteristics we can use with the bark is if we slice into one of those ridges we can see that there's a distinct light tan and reddish brown banding inside this bark. This is a really good characteristic for American elm and helps us separate it from red elm or slippery elm which has dark brown and then reddish brown banding in its bark. So even though American elm suffers from some disease issues it's still an important part of many riparian forest areas and moist soil forest areas and if you're a mushroom hunter, you're always looking out for those dead elms in the spring where we might find those big yellow morel mushrooms.